Hello boys and girls, it is JD here and welcome back to another week's video. We are still in the month of April and so we have the same question of the month. And the question of the month is, who wants to be your friend forever? I don't even know what that is. Dang it! Okay, so. No, it's not really. No, it's just gonna be. Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another weekly video. I am so glad you guys are here. It is JV here. All right, and so it is April and we are still talking about the same thing. And our question of the month is, who wants to be our friend forever? And now can you tell me who wants to be our friend forever? What's the answer to that question? Yes, Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Awesome job, everybody. All right, so today, we are going to pretend like we're getting ready in the morning. Like we're getting ready for the day. Like right before we go to school or something like that, okay? All right, so I want you to stand up. We're gonna pretend that we're gonna get ready, all right? So we're getting out of bed and we're gonna stretch our arms and hands in the air. Stretch, lean this way and stretch that. And uh, now we're gonna go to the bathroom and we're gonna brush our teeth. You ready? You gotta hold your toothbrush. You ready? You gotta put the toothpaste on our toothbrush. Here we go. Toothpaste on the toothbrush. All right, you ready? And guess what we're gonna do with our toothbrush? We're gonna brush our teeth. Brush, 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 brush. Up and down and side to side. Brush, 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 brush. brush. Brush and we're done. Did you brush your teeth too? Um, now let's smile in the mirror like our teeth all clean. Awesome job. All right, so now let's pretend that we're putting on our clothes so that we can get ready to go for the day. Ready? So we're gonna put on our shirt. Oh, pretend to put on your shirt. Did you put on your shirt? arms through all right now we're gonna put on our pants one leg and the other leg all right our pants are on our shirt is on all right now we gotta put shoes on right put one shoe on and put the other shoe on good job everybody now god provides us with clothes and shoes to wear and some people, they don't have a lot of clothes and shoes to wear. But you know that's one thing that we can do that shows that we love others? It's by helping giving things to others. Like so when somebody doesn't have any clothes or somebody doesn't have any food, we can give them some food or we can give them some clothes. And that is how we can love others. And you'll see later on in the Bible story about how Jesus wants us to love others, all right? Well, I'm so glad that you guys are here, and I'm so glad that you did all this with me, and I'm looking forward to seeing the Bible story next and being able to worship and sing the song. All right, guys, I'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I know someone who makes me happy. I know someone who makes me dance He's the reason my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap I know someone who makes me dance 
He's the reason that my feet are moving. He's the reason. to see you today. You can help me set up for a big party. Can you guess what type of party it is? It's a kite decorating party. My friends and I have been having so much fun playing with our kites that we want to make sure everyone we know has a kite. So we're all going to meet at the park later today for a special kite party. I can't wait. We invited our neighbor, Sean. I bet he's gonna decorate his kite red because red is his very favorite color. We also invited my grandma Annie. I bet she's gonna call her her kite bright purple. She loves anything purple. We also invited Kai's cousin, Marie. I bet she's gonna color her kite a tie-dye kite. It's gonna be so cool. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Planning a special party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. My friends and I are all meeting at the park later today, so I can share all my supplies so everyone can make a kite. It will be a kite making party. Sharing with our friends is a great thing to do. And I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Marquise, hope you're having fun in Florida. Your friend, Justin. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And today, look at this. I'm sending my own mail. My friend Marquise just moved to Florida with his family, and I'm mailing him a postcard to let him know that I'm thinking of him. Good friends are the best, aren't they? Which is what today's story is all about. Are you ready for a story? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox.
Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends who wanted to love people like Jesus loved them. So do you know what they did? Ask me, say, what did they do? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. They shared. If someone needed a coat, they gave him one of theirs. If someone needed a place to stay, they shared their home. If someone didn't have something to eat, they would give her something to eat. Jesus' friends were super sharers because that is how Jesus loved people. He shared with everyone. Jesus' friends spent lots of time together. They ate and talked and laughed. They loved each other because Jesus loved them. And do you know what else they would do? They would praise God. This showed everyone that they were friends with Jesus. I want to do that too. I want to be a friend like Jesus. I want to share with my friends so they know Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Raise your hand if you want to be a friend like Jesus. You do? Oh, oh, and you do too? Okay, raise them up high, as high as you can. Higher, higher. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's be friends like Jesus and share so that everyone knows how much Jesus loves them. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The people were friends and loved each other, just like Jesus showed them to. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that was such a great story. I love that people shared so everyone had what they needed. They were being loving and great friends, just like Jesus taught them to. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I get to share all the supplies with my friends so everyone will have a kite. I'll see you next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18.